this video we're going to talk about mole ratio problems we're not going to convert from mole a to mole b just a simple ratio problem consider the decomposition of water to hydrogen and oxygen so you don't have to balance this because i already balanced the equation but when you're given equations the first step is to balance them okay the question is how many moles of oxygen will be formed from 3.37 moles of water? Okay, I will teach you two ways to compute for this. The first one is the practical one. It's just a simple process. And the second one is... Mm, the second one is a conversion factor. What? The second one makes use of the conversion factor or the dimensional analysis. Let's go to the easy one first. Here, you have to take note of the given, okay? That's the first step in all the problems. Okay, so you have 3.37 moles of water. So you have to divide this by 2, since you have 2 molecules of water, or the coefficient is 2. Okay, this will give us 1.1685. Okay, don't round off yet. Use this as is, okay? Don't round off again. The next step is to multiply all the coefficient by the quotient. You have to multiply everything by 1.1685 so that you didn't change anything. Basically, yeah, you didn't change anything because if you get the lowest term, you will still come back to the original equation, 2, 2, 1, okay? My computer was confused too. She was like, what was that? Does it make sense? No! 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 Solving for that, we will have 2.337 for water, 2.337 for hydrogen, and 1.1685 for oxygen. Why? Because the coefficient of oxygen is given as 1. Since we're looking for the moles of oxygen, we just have to get the product under oxygen. Okay? So that's it. That's the answer. And minding the significant figures, which is 3, our final answer is 1.17 moles of oxygen. Basic, right? Okay. God, I hate it here. <laughs> oh, she almost had me. She almost had me. I said no. So now let's have the other way, the dimensional analysis. So we start with a given. Then you have to use the molar ratio. In the bottom, you will put the unit of the given, which is mole H2O. Then copy the coefficient from the balanced chemical equation. Then you copy the unit of what is being asked in the top, okay? Plus its coefficient, which is 1. So you will have 1 mole O2 in the top, okay? Look how the units cancel, which will give us 1.17 mole. Of oxygen so you have the same answer so consider the reaction between hydrogen sulfide plus oxygen which will yield sulfur dioxide and water okay so the question is how many moles of oxygen are needed to combine with 6.5 moles of hydrogen sulfide so we will still do the two steps or the two ways okay, just to show you so the first step is to divide the moles, the given moles, with the coefficient of the given. So 6.5 divided by 2 equals 3.25. Okay. Then, if you remember, you have to multiply everything by 3.25. Again, we need to multiply to everything to make it look like we didn't change anything. It, it will make sense. Okay, let's move on. So, 2 times 3.25, this will give us 6.5 mole of hydrogen sulfide. 3 times 3.25, we will have 9.75 mole of oxygen. So, we will stop there because we don't need the others. Okay? Since we are looking for the moles of O2, this is the final answer. 9.8 moles of oxygen. Okay? Why 9.8? Because the significant figure is only 2. Now let's try the dimensional analysis. 
Let's start with the given. Boom, 6.5 mole. Okay. Multiply to the mole ratio, mole of hydrogen sulfide in the bottom. Copy the coefficient. Mole of oxygen in the top. So copy coefficient. This is what we call the mole ratio. 3 is to 2. Cancel similar units. This will give us, we are now in the mole O2. Do the math. This will give us 9.75 mole of oxygen. So if you don't have a calculator, you may do it like this. 6.5 times 3, then divide everything by 2. You will still get 9.75. Now considering the significant figure, this will be 9.8 mole of oxygen. What if you have 4.8 moles of oxygen? How many moles of hydrogen sulfide do you need? Letter B, how many moles of sulfur dioxide will be formed? So again, you'll have the two ways to solve this. Let's discuss it very briefly. Let's start with 4.8 divided by 3. 3 is the coefficient of oxygen. Okay, again, because that's the given. Okay, this will give us 1.6. Now multiply everything by 1.6 for the same reason. So that we will not change anything. Because if you multiply this by 1.6 and divide it again by 1.6, you will come back to the original equation. So for hydrogen sulfide, for hydrogen sulfide we will have 3.2 moles. We will have 4.8 moles for oxygen and 3.2 moles for sulfur dioxide. So that's it, that's the final answer. 3.2 for hydrogen sulfide and 3.2 for sulfur dioxide. Genius, right? I was like, damn, I'm on it. Now let's try the dimensional analysis. We start with the given, 4.8 moles of oxygen. Multiply this to the mole ratio 3 moles of oxygen in the bottom to cancel the units and 2 moles of hydrogen sulfide in the top because that's what we're looking for. Cancel the units, this will give us 3.2 moles of hydrogen sulfide. Same. Okay, let's try the other one. The same format given then the mole ratio. It's the same but in the top it will be mole of SO2 or sulfur dioxide. Just copy the coefficient, which is 2, cancel the unit, we'll still get the same value, 3.2, but the unit is mole sulfur dioxide or SO2. Ten, 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 ten. Now, you have to check out the other video on how to solve stoichiometry problems. Okay? Cancel! Electric chair! Bye!